I started saving with NSSF when I joined KI Uganda, that was 1994. Kia ya stopinga mungumi vili na neivili. My husband passed away. That time was very challenging. When I did not have any any work at all, I met NSSF staff who were sensitizing people around. They requested me to go to Kavari. And in Kavari, they just processed my check and I, I came back with my money. I received an age benefit. This is a house that I completed with the money that I got from NSSF. Uh, with this money, I also established a tea garden. I started with like six acres. Then from six, I added four to make 10. Then I, I established another garden of three acres. Now in total, I have 13 acres of tea. It has also impacted on, on to the community because the community gets money from me and uh, it gives me a, a good name actually. When I'm passing by, you say, hi, madam. This is Mr. Oscar Nimpereza Kasia and as a little child, he used to visit me and got interested in what I was doing, especially with the tea. And he got a mind to start with tea nursery bed. So about three years ago, I started slowly, slowly and small. And she used to come, motivate me, go see how she does. She gives me some of her workers to come and assist me. And more so give me hope beyond hope and gave me the necessary connections in terms of uh, her supplying. And at the end of the first one year, I did a supply, and from there I've not looked back. Today, I'm in position to supply close to over 500,000 seedlings. The people I've seen who have abandoned the nursery beds because of even having wrong food calculations. Because this nursery bed takes a whole year before you can offload it. So I want to believe that had it not been me, her effort in guiding me into this business. Probably, you never know, I've even closed it halfway. I'm proud to have her for uh, being around me to encourage. And uh, I, my appeal is her to live longer and even encourage many more people in Kanungu. We are at Kayonza Tea Factory, is where I deliver my tea and I'm a shareholder of the, of the factory. We export our tea to the outside world through the Mombasa auction. Uh, a successful farmer, woman farmer like uh, Florence Gamjisha, if you visited her farm, if you are a buyer, even if you are not from the field, you will know that this is a superior quality of tea. So we rely on her deliveries. Florence was lucky to have worked and it saved it with NSSF. I own cows, I have goats, I looked after the children, I sent them to school. At least I'm happy and proud that I received the money. When I see my tea plantation or when I'm walking through, I feel very, very happy. I feel very proud. People need to know more about NSSF because People think that money is being stolen, money is being taken away from them. Because like the first time I, I was told that I would pay 5% of my salary when I was working with Kea, I, I just was not amused. But then later, when I got the first batch of money I got, I was very excited. I was very excited. I'm proud to save you NSSF.